Today I'm here to show you what my kids picked out to read this summer. A lot of great books. I picked out some for them. So let's get right to it. Hey, welcome back to my channel, His Love, Her Home, where this mama talks love, learning, and truth when it comes to homeschool and motherhood. My kids love to go to the library. We do library reading um, every year, the summer reading program, and they get prizes. So before it starts, we always go to the library and pick out some good books before anybody else gets there to get some books so we can get the good ones. Um, just kidding. <laughs> First, I will show books for my younger one. Some of them, might they might be mixed up. Yes, no, maybe so. But he picked out these books for himself. Um, the first one is Awesome Dog 5000, I believe. It's not a graphic novel. I'm very surprised. He usually loves to pick out graphic novels. This is kind of what it looks like inside. It says, Marty, Skylar, and Ralph are ready to save the world in a video game. So... That is that awesome dog, 5,000. The next book is this one, and I got this to read to all my boys at night. It says, uh, this book will get you to sleep. It says, warning. Occasionally, some readers may have a slightly different reaction. So this is a funny little book, which I know it's probably going to be funny, and they're going to laugh, and it's all about trying them to get to go to sleep. So we'll see if that happens um but i thought this would be a good read just something to add to read before they go to bed at night i also got some other picture books let me run through those real quick um if you haven't seen them um june tea for mays i got these just to read through because you know it's june tea. um by the time you see this it will have passed but i got these just for them to read this week anyway because today is the day to celebrate it June tea for Mays. I also got Opal Lee. Freedom, hope, and joy divine. June tea means it's freedom time. And then I got all different now. June tea, the first day of freedom. Let me show you what it looks like inside. I oh, got the book on my face. That's what it looks like inside. And the back says, and nobody knew as the sun was rising that soon it will all be different. That's nice. And I got free at last, a Juneteenth poem. So this is through telling it like a poem. This is what it looks like inside. And like I said, I just grabbed these because we didn't really talk about Juneteenth, but my older one was kind of like, what is Juneteenth? So I was like, oh, we're going to just get a few books and read about it. This one is called Juneteenth Jamboree. I got some smaller ones so my third grader could read them. This is what the inside looks like. This other one is Juneteenth. This one actually has a lot of, this is by On My Own Holidays. Um, this is Juneteenth. It has many other holidays on there. This is what inside looks like. The next one is, what is Juneteenth? And my library stuff is still in there. Don't pay attention to it. You know, this is by the Hue HQ. And that's what inside looks like. So they will read through this and all the other books. Once they're done with that, no expectations. It's just for them to read to kind of know a little bit about what Juneteenth is. Okay, back to my younger one. And sorry that I'm looking down, but I'm trying to take the books out the bag. Um, so for my younger one, he got, and if you, I'm sure your kids have heard of this before, Bad Kitty Meets the Baby. That's what else. This is what he picked out. Bad Kitty Joins the Team. I picked out Mr. Um, Fantastic Mr. Fox um, for him to read. And to get into these series, they also have Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, Matilda, the BFG. So I wanted to see if he likes um, this book. And then if he does, we will continue to read more of these. So Kayla picked out, um, it's called Next Best Junior Chef. And this is book one. And this is book two. 
It's called The Heat Is On, episode two. And this is book three, The Winner Is. Um, I know my Caleb, he likes to read series. These are still junior readers. I'm trying to move my oldest one up into young adults, which he should be reading young adults. But as a Christian mom, it's hard to find stuff to read that is not overboard. He also picked out for himself, Wink. Um, I feel like this is a uh, mix of um, wonder. The boy has a rare um, eye cancer. It says, Ross Malloy has always wanted to fit in, but when he's diagnosed with a rare eye cancer, he's suddenly the standout cancer kid of seventh grade. Now he has to deal with eye goo, weird hats, and a squinty winking eye. And the hardest thing of all, disappearing friends and bullies and the threat of losing his eyesight or worse. My almost oldest, Joshua, he wanted to see, um, to try a series of unfortunate events. Um, we have already watched the series on Netflix and I actually enjoyed it. They enjoyed it. We watched it as a family and I thought it was really good. So he wants to see um, if he likes the series. There are 13 books in total. He only got the first one. So we'll see if he continues this. Wait till my next library haul. Books that I picked out now. I picked these out because these are things that I wanted to read aloud. We did not get to do a lot of read aloud. And um, I do want to read aloud more, but it's an adjustment um, for them coming out of public school. And even after two years, I have had uh, more hard sh days struggling to read aloud than I've had good ones. Even though maybe half and half, I don't want to say more bad than, cause maybe not. Um, but since I didn't get to read them aloud, these are books that I really want them to read. And because I feel like my older two, their comprehension is really good and they understand what they're reading, I'm just gonna let them read them on their own. So there you go. And during the year, our read alouds will kind of be based on whatever we're learning in our morning box. And that's how that will go. Um, the first one is Race to the Sun. And this is by Rebecca Roanhorse. The next one that I got is When You Trap a Tiger. I'm sure you have heard about this, um, Homeschool Moms. Uh, a lot of you have already had this book. It says, when Lily and her family moved in with her sick grandma, a magical tiger straight out of her uh, Helmonies Korean folktale arrives, prompting Lily to unravel a secret family history long, long ago. Helmoni stole something from the tiger, and now they want it back. So that sounds real interesting. I know my kids will like that. The next one I got is The Bridge Home. The next one is The Wild Robot by Peter um, Brown. It says inside, can a robot survive in the wilderness? So that's very interesting. When Robot Roz opened her eyes for the first time, she discovered that she is alone on a remote wild island. She has no idea how she got there or what her purpose is, but she knows she needs to survive. Okay, so the last one is called The Endling. And I really wanted to read this during the school year, but I did not get a chance to get it. So I got it for them. This is another great series. And I like seeing my kids get into series because then they read all the books and they're so interesting. So um, The Endling is a series. Also, um, I believe The Wild Robot has a part two, um, but I don't know if it has any more than that. So guys, this is all the stuff that we're reading and uh for the first part of the summer this will probably last them like two or three weeks and then we'll go back to the library again and get some more books and i will share them again with you so if you like what you saw today please don't hesitate to subscribe to my channel hit it right there there's a thing in the corner right there boop, boop. just hit it <laughs> until next time i will see you bye <laughs>